I'm going to be very blunt for a moment. Um, the writing community on Twitter, sometimes they'll give you some decent, like, technical advice on writing. But for the most part, I see most of them just kind of orbiting, like, the, the endless cycles of world building or character studies or my main character likes to eat this or that sort of thing. Um, when I'm talking about Uplift Protocol on the channel, I mostly try to describe, like, character mindsets, maybe some of their motivations, maybe some upcoming threads that'll be slotted in and things like that. But it feels like the majority of writing Twitter in and of itself, it's just stuck. It, at least that's what it feels like. They, they just keep revolving around ideas, but don't often bring many of those ideas to fruition like even just write a simple concept as like the jump the dog jumped over the fence and then grabbed the ball like they don't even go to that point they just endless ideas but no action like they don't put the stuff to paper and get it out the door they don't some of them don't even go through first second third drafts or anything like that they they just the endless cycle of ideas it's like you're not going to get any books done if you're just sitting there constantly dreaming up stuff but not putting it to paper. Uh, a few overall aspects of Uplift Protocol has changed since I've started writing it, you know, and going full bore. Um, that's the reason why sometimes when I introduce certain things, I might keep it a little bit vague at first until I really nail down, like, what do I want this to represent or how do I want to integrate this into the story? So, you know, that'll happen. And then if I end up, you know, changing it a little bit later, you know, I'll make note of it. And then I will go back and once I go through the, like, big time editing phase, I mean, in terms of, like, just really digging in, I'll go back and I'll see where I made my notes on Excel. And it's like, okay, I got to switch this out a little bit or something like that. But that'll come later. That'll come after I actually complete the story. You know, because that's another thing that gets a fair amount of writers is they'll constantly be editing, re-editing, 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 and re-editing some more. It's like, it's, at some point, you're going to just have to let that baby go into the wild and then see if you catch anybody. That's just how I see it. Um... Because, again, like I said, with the uh, basic training type of thing, there are certain themes, tropes, wheelhouses that readers will gravitate towards. It might not catch on to, like, um, like big-time crowds, like some books of old. But in today's market, you can, you can still make a name for yourself writing. You might end up just being more of a, like a particular niche rather than full on mainstream but that's fine um, as you keep writing you'll keep growing and then you'll see what kind of things you like to do you can be you know somebody that dabbles in multiple genres you could be someone that just wants to focus in on one or maybe write a pin name and then write a different genre just to test that out but overall, the writing community on Twitter, it, it's still far too concentrated on, like, the endless cycle of ideas. Like I said earlier, it, there's only so much you can do with an idea. If you don't put it to paper and put it to fruition, then what use is it other than to be, like, a prompt to write something? That's just how I see it. You have a good day, everybody.